In January 2023, Shakira surprised the world by releasing a Shakira, BZRP Music Sessions, Volume 53, featuring Bizarrap. In hours, the Colombian singer and Argentine producer topped the charts. The jaw-dropping track skyrocketed to the top of Spotify's Top 50 Global Chart. In addition to reaching the top, the viral collaboration became the Latin song with the most streams in a single day in 2023, breaking the record for most streams by a track on a given day in Spain and Colombia. With over 15 million streams, the track quickly became the top song in Spanish-speaking markets, including Argentina, Colombia, Chile, and Mexico, and has made it to the top 10 in Switzerland, 7, Luxembourg, 5, and Malta, 6. People worldwide embraced the song as an empowerment track perfect for lifting one's spirit after a heartbreak. In the lyrics, the singer addresses her relationship with Gerard Peake and the former athlete's new girlfriend, Clara Chia. One year has passed since the release of the popular Revenge song, which has now garnered an impressive 864 million listens on Spotify. The song has become a fan favorite, with its catchy tune and relatable lyrics resonating with listeners worldwide. Moreover, the accompanying music video for the song has also earned significant attention on YouTube, having already accumulated over 674 million views to date. This accomplishment also marks the video as the third most viewed on Shakira's channel last year, indicating the widespread popularity of both the song and the artist. Some reports assure the song could have earned the pair more than $4 million on Spotify, with an average of $0.005 per listen, while on YouTube, with $0.00069 per play. Findesense data and intelligence suggests that in the first quarter of 2023, the Colombian artist could have earned approximately 30 million euros from her latest songs, which include Te Felicito, Te Monotonia, E Music Sessions, Volume 53, and a TQG. In a 2023 revelation, Shakira mentioned that music has been her savior, as it has helped her express herself better. She even described songwriting as a form of catharsis. It has always played a therapeutic role, and I tend to write the most when things are tough. Life throws me a curveball, and I've learned much from it, making me feel stronger. I never thought I had so much inner strength to overcome certain stages in life. It turns out I was less fragile than I thought. My music has been my primary tool for survival, she asserted. With that song, they told me, change the lyrics, that can't be released, and I replied that I'm not a diplomat from the United Nations. I'm a woman, a wounded wolf, she declared, prompting a wave of applause from the audience. She added, I've been surprised by the ability to make lemonade out of the sourest lemons, referring to the challenging months she endured after her split from the father of her children.